All right, what is going on, everyone? It is your host TKK here, and we are back with a move set overview video. And this time we're looking at Starmie. You know, Starmie is a really great Pokemon, uh, Gen One staple, and is you know it's one of the most used Pokemon in Gen Four BDSPO or sorry, and BDSPOU. So, decided I wanted to spotlight it a little bit. I was able to use it. Um, to semi decent effect in my most recent round of uh, the BDSP OU kickoff tour. So, if you want to see that thing in action, feel free to check out that video. I was able to do um, get two games in with some two offensive water types, this and Azumarill, which I just uploaded about recently. So, definitely check out those videos. I think those will be very beneficial if you're interested in either one of these offensive water types in the BDSP OU tier. And yeah, so we'll be, again, uh, you know, just before we start off, you know, please consider leaving a like if you found this useful. Of course, leave a comment if you have any questions or any sort of feedback. And if you are new to the channel, feel please feel free to subscribe. I will be uploading, you know, a lot of content in, you know, as long as I can see <laughs> into the future, you know, one to two times per day. Um, and there will be, of course, a BDSP uh, Starmie spotlight where I'll be going on the ladder with a couple of Starmie teams and we'll, you know, we'll just try to ladder up for, you know, 30 or so minutes. Uh, trying to get Starmie to do some work. So, with that all aside, let's jump into it. Let's see what Starmie is all about and see what it's capable of. So, looking at the stats, Star Starmie has uh, nothing really stands out right from the get go besides that 115 base speed, which is amazing. Hitting 361 speed is insane. It allows you to outspeed all the very fast, uh, <laughs> very fast Pokemon in the tier right now. Latios being the most important, uh, and the second being Gengar. Being able to outspeed both of those and threaten them out uh, with Hydro Pump or Ice Beam, or Ice Beam or Hydro Pump respectively, is huge. Obviously, can um, Starmie has Psychic as an option as well, and uh, yeah, that's that. You know, special attack set is base 100. Doesn't seem too strong, but remember, in terms of Gen 4, it's actually relatively strong in terms of an offensive stat. Base 100. Obviously, there's things that are stronger. Garchomp. Uh, Dragonite, etc. But base 100 is still not awful. It's strong enough, especially when you take into account uh, Starmie's ability. Starmie has uh, two really great abilities, Natural Cure and Analytic. Analytic is a super great ability where the Pokemon's attacks have 1.3 times power if it, it's the last move in a turn. May seem weird considering that Starmie is a very fast Pokemon, but what Analytic actually allows you to get a boost on is moves uh, when an opponent switches out. So if an opponent switches out and switches into Starmie and takes like a Thunderbolt or an Ice Beam or Hydro Pump, it actually does get the 1.3 times boost. And when you stack that with Life Orb, you're doing a bunch of damage on the switch, um, really making up for what can be seen as a mediocre 100 base special attack, right? In addition to this, Starmie has some of the best coverage in the world. Hydro Pump is a great, you know, Water is a great offensive stab, and uh, it has access to Thunderbolt, has access to Ice Beam, which is excellent, has access to Flash Cannon, Dazzling Gleam, Grass Knot, uh, Psychic as another stab option, uh, Thunderbolt, uh, Thunder, all these things. So it has a lot of, a uh, lot of options when it comes to coverage. But you know, hitting Bolt Beam is just huge. This is just huge coverage option for Special Attacker, and Hydro Pump is just a really great stab. So this first set, we're just looking at your basic all-out attacking set. We have three attacks: Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. Uh, Bolt Beam coverage is just the best. It's going to allow you to hit, you know, bulky waters, things like Manaphy, um, Rotom Wash, re you know, reasonably well. Um, which is going to be really huge. Obviously, flying types you're going to be able to snipe as well. Ice Beam is going to be really great for all the ground types that are running on. Gliscor being the number one thing that we want to hit. Number two being um, Lottie's, Latios, Latias, Garchomp, all those things you're going to hit extremely hard. And of course, Hydro Pump is just good stab. You're going to hit everything extremely hard. Things like Scizor aren't going to appreciate switching in on Starmie. Uh, obviously, fire types are going to get lit up by this. So it's just a really great option. It's a really nice sweeper or sorry, cleaner at the end of a game, but it also can be used as a breaker. Um, you can bring it in mid game and it can force a lot of damage. You know, you bring it on a Heatran, um, they're going to switch out you, to maybe like their water resist. Let's say it's a Latios. You, know, you go for an Ice Beam on the switch with the Ice Orb with the analytic boost, pretty much knocking that thing out, right? They have to really play carefully around it. In the last slot, we have Recover here. Uh, so there's a couple options. You know, Starmie is one of the few Pokemon that does have access to Rapid Spin, so feel free to, you know, use this as an offensive spinner. Although I don't find, personally find Starmie that strong of a spinner, I think it's better uh, to save spinning for maybe something else on your team. Um, I personally think Recover is a great option. Uh, Starmie has decent bulk. Uh, 60, 85, 85. 60 HP is not the best, but 85, 85 is pretty solid. And Water Psychic is a pretty solid defensive typing. You know, you're resistant to fighting type moves, you're resistant to fire, you're resistant um, to all sorts, you know, and you're just kind of 
overall have good bulk uh, against things like, you know, Garchomp. I mean, locked into EQ, you can kind of get a recover off, especially if it's like a lower, or if it's a weaker Garchomp, things like that. Obviously, it's like kind of a bad bad situation, but you know, something like a, uh, a Magnezone locked into Flash, clan, Flash Cannon, you can recover up on that uh, because you are resistant to steel, you're resistant to fire, as I mentioned, resistant to fighting, all those things. So, recover is just a good option. It allows you to get a couple more life orb hits. Um, and you can honestly find a lot of opportunities with Starmie to recover. There's opportunities where you can be you know, forcing a switch, you can recover on the switch, and there's going to be opportunities when you're faced off against something that's locked into a weaker move or just a weaker Pokemon altogether. Something like uh, Clefable, or, excuse me, Clefable really can't do too much to you. No, you know, no reason not to go for recover and give yourself, you know, five more life orb hits, which is huge, right? So that's that. That's the first set. Um, then we can kind of jump in to the next one, and this is the bulker, bulkier Starmie. Uh, where we're running a using taking advantage of Bo, uh, Starmie's other really great ability, which is Natural Cure, which allows you to um, just switch out of any. Once you switch out, you're healed of any sort of status move. You know, status paralysis, burn, toxic, sleep, whatever it may freeze, whatever it may be. You're in good shape. So this time we're looking for more of like a bulkier Starmie. So the spread we're looking at max HP. Really want to maximize its HP. It has decent defenses as we kind of mentioned here, and we're going to keep the max speed just because it's going to be very solid as an option overall. This time we're looking at Rapid Spin and Recover. Uh, these are going to be important, you know, obviously for just kind of keeping up your bulk, keeping up, you know, longevity throughout the entire game, allowing you to spin throughout time, right? Throughout the entire game. This is going to be your dedicated spinner. This is going to be your dedicated, like, kind of fighting check, your fire check, your steel check. It's going to be able to, be able to do a good job of those, uh, of that, and you're going to be able to spin throughout the game. You're going to be able to recover up. You're going to be able to, be able to annoy things with Scald, which is really important. We're not going to run Surf. We're not going to run Hydro. We're going to run Scald because we want the 30% chance to burn, which is huge. And, of course, T-Bolt is also a really great secondary coverage option. Uh, Scald is going to allow you to pretty much get hard stop by... Uh, all the bulky water so being able to hit those things with a t-bolt is just a good option altogether you could run ice beam here but scald ice beam isn't the best coverage you're still gonna hit stuff like uh gliscoric super effectively you know um obviously you're kind of missing out on the lottie damage output but without any real investment you're not going to do too much to lottie anyway so it's rather you'd rather have t-bolt or something like ice beam and of course leftovers is the last set we're just going to use that as uh this gives you overall bulk allows you to stay you know stick around longer throughout the entire game so as the first set was more of like your standard breaker potentially an offensive spin mon this is your second set this is more of like your bulkier starmie this is the one that's going to stick around all game allow you to rapid spin up recover up throw off some scalds get some burns um and just overall kind of just be a good utility mon for your team you know take some hits sponge some hits from you be a pivot altogether, and uh yeah service you in that way throughout the game so Definitely two really great sets. Honestly, very interesting that Starmie is able to run both of these. It's completely different, right? Um, but it works out. It, it does a good job of both. And lastly, we have a little bit more of an interesting set. This is not uh, anything I think would be extremely useful, but there is potential for it, right? Starmie has really great coverage options, and with a choice specs and analytic, it can do a ton of damage on the Switch. Um, so something, basically, we're just running the same stuff as Life Orb, but we're opting for Psychic in the last slot. That's just going to allow you to hit extremely hard. You're going to be able to hit uh, fighting type super effectively, poison type super effectively. Uh, there's a lot of merit in that. So basically, uh, yeah, this can be just kind of used as a breaker uh, in the mid game. You can be able to use this to kind of break past teams. Um, especially offensive teams, nothing really wants to switch into a choice specs analytic hydro pump. You know, something like Scizor, uh, which is going to be pretty common, commonly kind of expected to kind of take Starmie's hits, especially spin that versions, will not appreciate this whatsoever. And of course, T Bolt and Ice Beam are going to be, again, really great for hitting those bulkier waters. Latios is not going to appreciate it. Garchomp's not going to appreciate it. Manaphy is really not going to appreciate it. Specs T Bolt. Um, so this can be really used uh, as a nice revenge killer for all those really offensive mons, especially Manaphy, Garchomp, Lottie, but also just a good break altogether and of course psychic just kind of rounds it out allows you to hit um, fighting type psychic types things that and if you just want ever want to be in a position where you just want to fire off a good stab move without having to risk hydro pump psychic is a really great option there it's gonna be your most powerful attack besides pump uh, but it will be the most consistent and of course the spread nothing really to <laughs> talk about here max max can't go wrong with that but I think I will leave it at that not much to say not much to say about Starmie it does what it, it does what it does very well, but it doesn't do too much, right? Uh, it's an offensive mon. It can get a spin off here and there, but that's pretty much it. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like. I would really appreciate it. Of course, please consider leaving a comment if you have any sort of feedback, any sort of question. And of course, 
If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I will be uploading a lot of BDSP OU content, a lot of SS uh, Sword and Shield content. I will be, of course, uploading a spotlight video where we will go onto the ladder with these Starmy sets, see if we can get them to do some work. But until next time, take care, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.